you want me to call like in an hour? Yeah. Uh, okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to do? No, that's it. You're awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good Bye. Sorry. Um, we're trying to get to 13 star, which I think we just solidified, but <laughs> there was an issue. Um, Okay, so let me. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, so we're going to talk about Lyft, but before um, we talk about Lyft, like let's talk about like momentum in this business. And um, it really just seems like momentum um, everywhere, um, whether you're talking about paychecks, whether you're talking about people hitting diamond, whether you're talking about uh, people hitting star diamond. And so here's the thing, guys, so many people, um, so many people go into summit and they're hoping for summit to like lift them up, but it's really, truly amazing to go into summit like a locomotive with momentum. Because then after Summit, your business just completely explodes because you've been doing all the things that you needed to do all along. And, you know, like after Summit, when people watch you, especially those of you who are going, people just are like, join me. Like I'm, I'm looking at all the faces of people who join me after Summit. Um, Tanya joined me after summit. Uh, Kelly joined me after summit. Um, I think Sarah joined me after summit. And so these are all my big business building coaches who joined me after watching me at summit. And the fact that all of us are going to summit with this vast momentum. And I, I don't know if you listened to um, the wake up call a few weeks ago with Moira and she's right. Momentum does more for your business than anything. And too many times coaches do well and they don't realize that they need to run that momentum, that the minute that they hold back, the minute, like, you know, it, I'm talking about like, if you get to success club and you're just like, ah, I hit success club, I'm good. And you just sit back, like you have cut off the momentum because you decided, well, I got five points or I got six points. Whereas when you push and push and push, it just makes everything easier. And, um, you know, like I said in that live video, there were a lot of times when I had to rebuild this business. And let me tell you something. I didn't have to rebuild my business from a, from a income perspective. Because the way I built my business, I was always very solid in income. And so my business didn't really take a hit in terms of income, but it took a hit in terms of people who left and then the people who stayed and then helping them regain their business and, you know, creating relationships. Guys, I inherited almost like a half of a whole new team because these people left, but their people did not leave. And so I had to establish myself um, as, as a business partner with people who really didn't start this business it, to get in business with me. And so that takes time and, and, and that takes time to nourish those relationships and things like that. And so it just takes time sometimes. But here's the thing. The one thing you can't do is get caught up in the little stuff. For nine months, there is somebody that literally still talks about me, still talks about me, nine months later. And so I chose to put my head down and I chose to just focus on bringing great people in. I chose to um, help solidify the people who stayed. I chose to build 
the people who stayed and really teach them how they take the business to the next level. How do they grow their income? And all of that eventually, like I, I was saying in that video, it's like running a marathon and you've gotten to like past mile 20 and you're like, wow, like, uh, okay. Like that was really hard, but I can do this. I see the finish line. And for so many of you, you're like right there and you don't see the finish line and you're like, am I spinning my wheels? Why am I working so hard? I don't see the benefit of it. Maybe you've had people leave. Maybe you've had people disappoint you. Maybe you've had, um, you know, you've been working really hard, but not seeing the, the reaping of that, um, you know, what's going on. But what the thing is, is that that uncomfortableness, that stickiness, that kind of like, oh my God, you get through that by really holding on to your vision and really holding on to your belief about what you can do and what this business can do. Because when you have that, when you have that belief, when you have that vision, it really has no choice but to happen. And what's funny is that, you know, I think I read somebody wrote this somewhere and it said, if you give the universe mixed signals, it will give you mixed results. And that to me is sure as hell, the truest thing I have ever seen. Because for me, when I got really intent about what I wanted my business to look like, about what I wanted to go for, what were my goals, it literally happens when you are so direct on this is what needs to happen. And it will occur. And let me tell you something, guys. We're 13 star, and trust me, in two, three weeks, we will be a superstar qualifying team. It will happen. And most of the people who make up those 15 diamonds were people that came out of freaking nowhere. Julie, who will be my diamond tomorrow, Julie's been my coach for five years, guys. She was like working coach and then she kind of backed out. And then she was like, always a discount coach. And, and honestly, Julie's always had like, she's always had an emerald on her one side. And then, you know, 80 day obsession came on and, and, um, you know, she naturally grew her business. Like I didn't go to Julie and go, Hey girl, you want to get to diamond? Like, because when you ask people those questions, nobody wants to get to diamond for you. Why does anybody want to do anything for you? They want to do it because they want to grow a business. And so we are a 13 star qualifying team as of tomorrow. And two of those coaches literally came out of nowhere. Dawn is, um, Dawn's in my second CBC. And I've just like watched her like grow as a person, like literally in the last six months. And it's been incredible. And so when you get really intent about where you want your business to go and what you want it to do, It'll be amazing how much that will fall together. It really does. Because if you told me um, that we would be on the cusp of hitting superstar and we would have people hitting team leader and we would have people, um, you know, I know Jen Palmer, Jen Palmer, you know, when Jen became my coach after her coach left, Jen was like a, a fallen diamond. And now she's like literally like this close to being like two star and completely build like, and I didn't go to Jen and go, Hey Jen, do you want to be a diamond? I, you know, we talked about what she wanted to do and the business that she wanted to build. And when you do that and when you talk to people and you focus more on helping them get to their goals and helping them focus on what their vision is for their life and what they want to accomplish. The universe is like here, here, here it is. It's been wait. I've been waiting for you. I honestly feel like I'm going to, I'm going to one day be a superstar diamond and it'll be like, it all made sense. It all made sense.
There were certain lessons I had to learn as a leader. There were certain things I needed to do more in my business. There were certain things I needed to be serious about. As much as you guys think that I'm just this consistent and, 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 and great coach, there are a lot of things that I am inconsistent about and I was not taking seriously. And man, when you start taking things seriously like income and tracking income and tracking your coach's income, it like it really has no choice but to happen. And so that's where our business is um, headed. We've had a great launch with 2B Mindset. I really think it's going, I really think that we we're like only in the first month of it. And I don't even think we've even touched on what this program is going to do because the first month of 2B Mindset is really a head game because you know, people are either really excited that they're losing weight um, or they're really frustrated or they're really like they're, they're, they haven't gotten into the thing. And so from what Ilana says, once you get to that like two, three um, month mark, you just get into this zone of, you know, exactly how your body works and you know exactly how to lose weight and you know exactly how to, um, control what goes on. And so I really have, don't even think we've, we've, um, hit the cusp of that. And, and part of me wanted to do, and that's why I, I started asking people to show their trackers because I know people weren't tracking and, and, and honestly, people were like saying like, Oh, you know, this happened, whatever. Like, I know my client, Maria, I know she was not eating but in the morning, <laughs> you know, like you start to realize when people aren't successful and people are getting frustrated, there has to be a reason. It's not that they're wrong and it's not that they're doing anything wrong. It's just like there, there's got to be clues as to what's going on. And as soon as people started showing their trackers, what did they start noticing? They started noticing success and they started noticing like, oh, this is what I need to do. And I need to be more intentional about that. And so I think that um, that's going to be good. So I feel like we're in this weird position and I'm not going to argue about being in this position because we literally have had three back-to-back -back programs now, right? We've had 80 day obsession and some of you are still rocking 80 day obsession and still signing people with 80 day obsession, right? Especially now with the today show. Um, you know, that's kind of like been a resurgence and then you had the two B mindset and now we have this program lift and guess what? There's another program going to be announced at summit and there's going to be another thing, uh, another consumable that's going to be announced at summit. So the amount of good stuff that's coming out is like insane and if anybody hasn't figured out that they need to be in this business um or at least take it seriously is crazy <laughs> so lift is a little weird and let me explain to you why it's a little weird because melanie Mitro did a call for us the other day and she's kind of like oh where did everybody go <laughs> I hit, I hit something. Oh, there we go. Um, so let me explain to you a little background. And maybe you read the FAQ like I did 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Sips tea. <laughs> um, or maybe you haven't had a chance. And it felt, it felt really good to me that Melanie said to me that she actually just read the FAQ yesterday. So um, I'm not in uh, bad company. So Lyft is going to be much like the 80 day obsession was released. Um, and, and Lyft itself is, I've heard a lot of amazing things about it. And so this is the first time we've gone to a four day a week program. And so one of the reasons why we went to a four day a week program is for a lot of reasons, actually. First reason being scientific proof that you don't actually have to work out every day in order to get amazing results. And that sometimes taking a rest in your body 
and working it in a different way can actually yield better results. Especially when you're talking about um, HIIT uh, training. And that's what this is. So it's weightlifting and it's HIIT cardio training, high intensity training. And so if you've done um, Insanity Max 30, if you've done T25, we're talking that kind of thing, except for we're also doing weightlifting. And the weightlifting is based on lifting heavy. Eventually you want to get heavier and heavier. And, and the goal is really to kind of burn your muscles out. And that's why you have the rest days and things like that. So what do you want to tell people? You want to tell people that this program is designed to build muscle and scorch fat. That's what it's designed to do. And it's not designed to build bulky muscle. It's designed to create lean muscle and scorch fat. And so those are probably the two words that I'm going to say. Because whenever you tell women that they can scorch fat, all of a sudden, like, <laughs> they're like, what? What did you say about fat? I can scorch it? <laughs> um, so that seems to be the big thing. It's never the same workout twice. And so much like the 80 day obsession, it, you're, it's not like, okay, it's Monday, let's do arms. It's Thursday, let's do legs. And so you'll have four days of workouts for eight weeks and no workout is the same. And so for those people that get bored, for those people who really want to change up things, um, it, it, it's really good for that. You also have something, the, the whole program is like based on this thing called Lift for Life. And so it's a program design that you can live life and that you can also get results. And so you can take rest days or maybe you can go to Zumba or maybe you want to go to CrossFit or maybe you want to ride your bike. And so all of those people who love their gym membership and love going to the gym, this might be a program for them because they don't want to give up going to CrossFit twice a week. And most people, if they're going to, like I know me, when I went to the gym, I only went for two days worth of classes. And so this program would be something that could work out for me. You know, those people who go to personal trainers and they only go to a trainer like once or twice a week, this is something that they can add to their rep repertoire. It is not based on the container program. Thank God. Because I'm like, Craig, if you make me talk about containers again, people are going to think I lost my damn mind. <laughs> and so this program is based on macros. And so that's the way Joel actually runs his own life is that he bases what he eats on macros. Now, if you have those cute little containers at home, you can still use them and they will still tell you like, okay, if you're in this bracket, you get four purples, you get four blues. But if you're not using those containers, because the containers will not come with this program, it'll give you the equivalents. And so if you've done P90X3, it's much kind of like that. And I actually think the P90X3 meal plan is actually really great and it got me some really great results. And that was based kind of like on macros too. It's also based on this lift life, lifestyle. And so meaning that, you know, if you want to celebrate somebody's birthday, you have some cake and celebrate somebody's birthday. It's not one of those 80 day obsession, nobody's drinking, nobody's having any sugar, none of that. Okay. And so for the people, um, I, I, and here's, here, this stays here and, and please don't repeat it on social media yet. They are going to implement something with the 2B mindset and lift because there's so many people that are doing 2B mindset. And so I don't know if they're going to do a 2B mindset and beach body on demand and, and lift. I don't know if they're creating that challenge pack yet. Craig didn't tell me what exactly it is. He just said that there will be something that you can implement to be with lift, which is, which is great because we, we kind of want to be consistent. We kind of don't want to sell people 
on it on to be and then be like hey count your macros girlfriends like forget those two bunnies we're just gonna measure shit you know <laughs> like i swear people were like looking at us like we're like crazy um this is also a really great program for couples um one of my girlfriends um who is an elite coach her and her husband are in the test group and she has shared how much it's helped their marriage, how much it's been really good because it's really hard to do a program every day with your spouse, right? Like, I don't know. I think I would like hit my husband over the head with a dumbbell if I worked out with him like seven days a week, but four days a week, I could like, I, that might be enjoyable, you know, like, let's go to, you know, let's go to the basement, let's work out, whatever. And so you kind of like, that might be a whole new gamut of people that you've never considered, like people who maybe want to do something with their spouse, people who, you know, I know my husband, my husband's never going to do an 80 day obsession, but my husband actually likes to do hit works out, hit works out, hit, is it hit? Because I probably am mispronouncing it. Is it hit? <laughs> is that how you say it? Okay, because I'm the person that says mem and meme. So I know. <laughs> um, but, but like he likes to get in, lift his weights. He likes to run and do like sprints on the treadmill and then he's done with the gym. And so this actually, if there was ever a program that Orlando and Lima was going to do, this might be it. And so that, that's like a whole different bunch of people. And, you know, for our group, we can make it, um, <laughs> I was just going to say, we can make it bisexual. Sorry if your children are listening. <laughs> We're going to make it male and female. <laughs> um, anyway. Woo. Okay. I have not been drinking. So that's the background of this. Um, if you go on Beach Body On Demand, which I'm going to have to do this myself, apparently there's a video that Joel did and he literally lays out the eating plan. And so that's actually out there and I don't think people know about it. And so when obviously we're running this group, um, I'll have to brush up on that. Um, here's the thing. I know we're going to do a launch group. I haven't decided when we're going to do it. And let me explain to you the next part of this, because there's a lot of dates with this and it's a little crazy. So first things first. On June 4th, Beachbody decided to do a sort of fit moment, fit commercial. And so it's going to be a workout from like, like lift, but they're also going to have overlays with Joel explaining what the program is. This is going to be on June 4th. It's going to be ahead of the paywall. And so literally, if you go to your computer and you go to Beachbody On Demand, there's going to be like a, a banner at the top that says lift and people can literally hit play and do that workout and don't have to have a Beachbody On Demand, um, what do you call it? They don't have to have anything. They don't have to have the trial. They don't have to any of that. That's on June 4th and that's always going to be up there from June 4th. And so why that's important is because this is going to allow you to try this out and then start talking about it. So you'll get firsthand knowledge of what it's like. It's also going to allow our existing Beachbody On Demand users to see if they like it or if they don't like it. Um, it's going to allow us when we do run the launch group to actually let people check it out. Like, hey, go do, the, go do the program. Like you can do it like today. Um, so that's the first thing. The second date that you need to keep in mind is June 11th. June 11th, and this is where it gets weird. And I was trying to, I don't know, was, Craig's like, you need to understand this. June 11th is when the packs go on sale. And these are, it's going to be just like the 80 day, right? So if you have Beachbody On Demand, 
you will not have lift until October. And so all of those people that are like, wah, 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 you told me I would get every program. Yeah, you are going to get every program, but you're not going to get it until October. And so if you want early access, June 11th is the first day you can get it. And there's different ways that people can get it. And I'm going to explain that, but in a bit. Okay. So June 11th, people can. Um, just like 80 day obsession, get an accessory bundle. They can get a, um, a completion pack. They can get a challenge pack. There's going to be a mega challenge pack. There's going to be a deluxe challenge pack. There's going to be a regular challenge pack. There's going to be a challenge pack for you and a challenge pack for you and a challenge pack for you. Um, there's also going to be something called digital access. And we didn't do that with 80 day obsession. And so digital access means that you don't need the little bands and you don't need that. You just want digital access. And so that's the first time that that's going to be available to people. Um, and that's only available to people who are existing Beachbody On Demand customers. And so if you're a person like, hey, I got the bands, I'm good, I don't need any of that stuff, I just need access, that's what they do. Now, if they want to get into Joel's program, you know, because every, you know, this is what we do. We do those exclusive test groups that coaches can get into. They have to purchase either the accessory pack if they're a coach, or they need to buy a completion pack or a, um, a regular challenge pack and sign as a coach. So it's the same rules, but here's the weird thing. Joel's group doesn't start until August 7th, I think. So my first thing was, oh, we got to do this launch group because the program comes out June 11th. And then I'm like, what the hell are we going to do with people until like August or, or whatever? Oh, uh, yeah, well, that's not when the, the ex, that's when the, not when the test group actually starts though. So here's, let me back up. This is why it's difficult to explain. So on June 11th, people can get digital access to Lyft and buy a challenge pack. But the actual program Lyft isn't available until July 16th. So you're having people buy something and then being like, hey, girlfriend, good luck. <laughs> so Beachbody kind of stepped in and realized that's a long time to ask people to buy something. Like literally their second Shakeology is going to be coming and they haven't even started the program. So what they did is they created this workout called B4 Lift 4. <laughs> And it's four workouts and it's just like lift. And so it will allow them to at least do something for that month that kind of over, you know, kind of, so they, they have something to do. And it's kind of like, remember how they did a little bit obsessed? Yeah, exactly. Right, Jen. So they, they decided to just take this last week and get that done. And so they're calling it prep week. So prep week for lift, except for the only difference is this, a little bit obsessed was able to be accessed by everybody. This is not able to be accessed by everybody. And so it, the only people that are getting these videos, this before lift, this prep week are people who bought the lift accessory pack, digital access, all that good stuff. Okay. So that's the little difference. And I, I hope I'm explaining it correctly, but it was a lot of craziness. Um, so people have um, from June 11th to July 31st to be in Joel's exclusive group. So if they want to be in Joel's group, um, Joel will open that group, I think, July... Okay, so you have to request by August 7th, 
you have to have bought a challenge pack or an accessory pack as a coach from June 11th to Ju July 31st, okay? July 9th is the official Joel watch group. Like maybe he's gonna do some live videos, maybe he'll do something, whatever. But the real, the real like when you start doing the real thing, that's not until August. So to me, as much as I wanna rush people to buy Lyft on July 11th, I'm just afraid that's a long time to kind of lollygag with people. Now, don't get me wrong. I have people that literally are like, is Lyft out yet? Is Lyft out yet? Is Lyft out yet? Like, and so I'm going to offer Lyft to all my existing customers, all my existing coaches. Like, obviously I'm going to do that on, to get ready for July 11th, but I kind of might push back the launch group a little bit further out because I also think people are doing really well with to be mindset. Um, you know, now we have the today show thing with 80 day obsession. And so I feel like I don't want people to think that every other week I'm selling something different just to sell something different. I really do want to kind of build people up, you know, especially with the to be mindset people, there's a lot of people that actually didn't want to exercise, at least the ones that I sold to. And so this gives me the opportunity to be like, hey, you feel good. You're starting to feel like you have that energy. This is only four days a week. And here's, here's another reason why they did four days a week. So many people they found out quit their program because they miss one day. And I actually have a coach like that. Like she will quit because like she misses one day and then she like won't work out for like two, three weeks. And so four days a week actually allows people to have a life, not work out every day, um, not feel like, oh my God, Monday, Tuesday, went like, you know, it allows them to kind of be able to feel more successful. So let's talk about the different kinds of packs. So the first way you'll be able to sell people is your existing Beachbody On Demand customers and coaches who have Beachbody On Demand. And that's the digital access. And literally, that will just mean on June 11th and, and so on, they like turn into their Beachbody On Demand the next day and lift or it'll, it, well, it'll be called the before lift, whatever, will be accessible. It doesn't come with any bands or any accessories or anything else like that, okay? That's the first thing. Let me give you some prices. I'm actually gonna make a graphic like we do because those graphics work awesome. Um, but that digital will be $40. It, it's like 39 something. So it'll be $39 in the United States, 39 pounds in the UK, and then $48.95 in Canada. So that's kind of the first price point. The second thing is what we call the accessory bundle. And obviously I don't sell any of these to customers. No, I don't. <laughs> um, so these accessory bundles are going to be your typical coaches who want to be in Joel's exclusive group. And that is um, $50 if you are just, you know, you want the accessory bundle. You also, they also made um, bundles like this with Shakeology and with um, like a mega pack. I think before when we did it for coaches, remember you had to like buy the recovery and the energize and you got a certain percentage off and it was just like a hot mess. Um, so this time they decided to bundle those. And so the accessory bundle can be, um, just the accessory bundle, or it can be with recover and energize, or it can be the, the mega Mac daddy, um, one, and that's $369 in the USA, um, $140 for the regular um, deluxe pack or deluxe accessory bundle. 
and then the um, regular accessory bundle is $50. The only price I got in Canada for that was $68. That's just the regular. If you're like a Canadian coach and want to be in Joel's group, that's going to be $68. Okay. Now, we have regular challenge packs and we have completion packs. Let's figure out what's the difference. Anytime you were, use the word completion pack, what does it mean? It means somebody has Beachbody on demand. I like teach all my new coaches that. Um, so here's the thing though. Some of your people like literally only have a month of their Beachbody on demand. So ask them if they have Beachbody on demand, like when did they buy it? Do they know when it expires? Because I know with 80 day obsession, I had a lot of people cancel their existing Beachbody on demand and then bought a challenge pack because it's cheaper. It's cheaper than two months later paying $99, whatever, for Beachbody on demand. So um, just like your regular challenge packs, you have um, Lift with Shakeology and, and the, you know, the, the fancy bands or whatever. I think they made that up. <laughs> Um, that's $170. And so you can get that with Shakeology or you can get that with the performance line. I actually sold a lot of people with 80 day obsession with no Shakeology. I just sold them with the performance line. And so don't think you need to be such a hard sell with Shakeology, especially for your people who are like gym warriors. They don't want Shakeology. They think that's sissy food. They want like, I want recover. I want pre-workout. So like, don't think you always have to sell Shakeology. Um, the Deluxe um, is $200. And, oh no, sorry, I'm sorry. The Deluxe is $230. I believe it comes with Shakeology and it comes with the performance line. And so it comes with Energize, Recover. And I think they actually threw in a, a mat or a foam roller or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I have to double check. The mega pack is $445 and it's $515 in, in Canada. Is there anybody on here from Canada? I'm trying to look. I don't think so. So we're not going to talk about Canada right now. Um, so the mega pack is the same thing we did with the 80 day obsession. It's the lift, it's Shakeology, and then it's like a, a Jagunda bottles of Recover and Jagunda bottles of Energize um, for $445. Um, I have been told, because I have a lot of girlfriends in the test group, that you're going to need Recover. <laughs> you definitely are going to need um, pre-workout and Recover because your muscles will hurt. So, um, you know, we definitely, obviously when we do the launch program, we're going to spend a lot of time talking about that. Um, now let's go to completion packs. Again, completion pack means they have beach body on demand. So that's $140 for the completion pack with Shakeology, $200 if you're getting Shakeology and the performance line. And then $400 if you're getting Shakeology and the Jagunda performance line for like two months. I think, it, yeah, two months. So, and then um, last but not least, there will be an exclusive test group. The test group will go on for, I believe, two months. He, um, but it actually, the, the start date of it doesn't start until like August 8th or something. So August 7th will literally be the last day that you can request to be added. And um, July 9th, it will officially launch. And then, you know, as soon as they buy June 11th, they'll start, like Beachbody will start doing those emails where it'll be like, hey you get to be an exclusive group um, that way. Is there any questions that I can help answer? Um, we are going to do a launch group. I am talking to Joel 
as to what he's going to do, as to whether he's going to do a Zoom call with us or he's going to just go live in there. You know, I will always hit up my friend Carl <laughs> to do a video for us. Um, I've lined up a couple of my girlfriends to, um, and actually I'm going to have my one girlfriend do a live video with her husband because they both got really great results. And I, I think it's going to be really cool because they're going to talk about their marriage and how it's kind of really helped um, their marriage and, and help both of them kind of um, get on track. And so, um, and then we'll go over the Shakeology and we'll go over the performance line and then we will go over coaching and, and why it's good to be a coach um, and things like that. And so we really um, have nailed this formula of launching um, programs. And so um, I think we've, we've kind of perfected it. I would love to see us get over a thousand people because um, I think with 80 day, we got to 1600. I literally think the to be mindset is like 2,300 people. And um, what's incredible is that when I share this in the leadership group with people who are like five star and above and Jeff Hill and all those other people, they're like, how the hell do you get the, all those people? And I'm like, I don't know. People just invite, <laughs> like it just works out that way. So, um, I think that we've really nailed it. And what I like, you know, I have a lot of my new coaches being able to earn income. And so I don't really care so much about my new coaches hitting success club in their first few months, but I really do care about them earning an income. And so if I can like literally get them to earn a $40 paycheck, it's life changing and not life changing in terms of the money being life changing but life changing in terms of, hey, like I can do this. I can't believe this check just came. Like I have a new coach, Emily. She'll probably hit Success Club in her first, um, her first month. And she sent me an, a, a, a text and she's like, oh my God, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm such a dork, but I cried because I got my first check for $40. And you know, when people tell you that they want to work the business, the best thing you can do for them is help them earn a damn paycheck so that they see that it's something that they can do. And um, so these groups allow your coaches to literally start working that day. And so when I sign a new coach and they're like, what should I do, Kim? I tell them, start asking people you know of people who might be interested in to be mindset or people who might be interested in this. And I literally tell them, this is what you do. You send a message, you add them, ask if you can add them. And if they say, okay, you add them to the group and then you tag them only in certain in, uh, information that you think is going to be helpful. And then you literally follow up with them. And then I teach them share a cart. Every one of your working coaches needs to know share a cart. That should be the first thing that they learn because when they have somebody who wants to buy from them, you don't want your coaches to be like a deer in headlights. You want them to be like, oh, this is what I do. And literally I have a video on my personally sponsored coach and my coaches will see me do it. I'll be like, here it is, girl. Here's a video. Here's how you do it. And it's a video of me doing the share cart. And let me tell you something. You want your coaches to earn a paycheck? Teach them how to do it. And when you put that in their ability to be able to do that, it's magical. And, you know, like the statistics of coaches, coaches stay a whole year if they earned a dollar. If they literally earn a dollar, they will stay a whole nother year. If they don't earn anything, they will leave within three months. And so if you want your coaches to be lifers, if you want your coaches to stick with this, they don't have to earn a ton of money. They just need to get a win. I have a new coach, Heather. She hasn't earned it. She hasn't um, sold the challenge pack yet but she sold like some basic to be mindsets and she's earning money. And so she's interested in continuing. 
I tell my coaches all the time, you can earn $25 from selling a 2B mindset, a basic kit. And like, it starts to get them going. Like, who do I know? How can I ask? And, and, and the last part is you need to recruit. Because if you're hoping that discount coaches are just someday going to wake up and be like, you know, I was thinking, I just woke up today and I, I want to be an entrepreneur. That's not going to happen. Like those people are like unicorns. Like if they do it, I mean, it's great, but I'm looking at all my, all my personally sponsored coaches and those girls came to me because they wanted to earn some money. They didn't want to just be a discount coach. And so why did they come to me? Because I talk about the business and I talk a lot about the business and most of those girls join me not when I was an elite coach they didn't join me when I was 11 star diamond coach they joined me when I was hustling girlfriend was a diamond and hustling because I knew I was building the team that I was going to eventually have and a lot of those people got in on the ground floor and that's the vision you need to have for your team if you're like a baby diamond or you're a diamond or you're just close to diamond, holy crap, you're doing those people a favor. Those people are coming into your business and getting a ground floor piece of your business that you are going to grow. And that's how you invite to the business. You don't invite to the business like, hey, you know, you could sell, you know, you could save $25 on your shake or, you know, whatever. Like, don't pussyfoot around it. Explain to them that you are building this business. You are looking for people. You know, one of the coolest things Melanie said yesterday was, she's like, I don't ask anybody to join my business anymore. She said, I tell them what I'm looking for. And it's a little different when you start telling people what you're looking for in a person, because then you're really going to get those people. Because let me tell you something, I'm looking at Jen Garner who, who just signed with me in the last three months. Jen was serious. Jen was not a discount coach. Jen was like, how do I work this business? How do I do this? I want to do this. And those are the people, and trust me, I still recruit a ton of people, but the people who come to me and they're like, I want to work this business, and I want you to teach me, they do it. And if you bring in three people like that a month, that can do massive things to your business. Three people a month who say that they wanna earn a paycheck and you help them earn a paycheck, you can't imagine what that's gonna to do to your volume and how that's gonna grow your business. And that's what you need to focus on. And that's why these launches are honestly these launches are a gift from the gods if you're trying to build a business if you're trying to help your coaches because it gets coaches to come into the business and be a coach and then it gives them a place where they can invite a lot of my new coaches who are emeralds or almost diamond they came in with the 80 day obsession and they were like hey i'm gonna be a coach and they started inviting while they were doing the program. And they built a business from that. And that's the vision that you need to lay out to people that, hey, like you're gonna do, these women are doing the work anyway. They are drinking the shake, they are doing the hard work. Why not freaking make a paycheck on that? And when you make it that easy and you make it like, you're doing the work anyway. And then you start sharing your story. Uh, I noticed that a lot of people shared their story um, last night. And, and Julie told me, she's like, Kim, without a doubt, that is what got me to Diamond, is sharing that story. Because when you tell people, I want you to get in shape and I want you to be a coach, they're like, I am a hot mess, girlfriend. I can't even, like, how am I going to be a coach? And when you explain your story, how coaching has helped you be confident, coaching has made you show up on the days you didn't want to get show up. Coaching has helped you with a support group of people who kind of keep you in it. They get it. They, they're like, oh, 
I need this piece of, like the piece of coaching is a part of it. And they say yes. And so when you invite them to coaching opportunity groups, you'll have people say, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. And that's all it is. It's all it is. And so use this some momentum because I'm going to tell you, come September is our slow month. September, October, November are those months that are going to be harder. People are starting to hibernate. They don't care what their body looks like. People, um, you know, you start getting the women who their kids are going back to school. They don't have time. They're overwhelmed. You get the people who have spent too much money over the summer on vacations. Like this is coming. And so just like, um, just like, you know, the squirrel needs to collect all its nuts. So it has enough to eat in the winter. You need to do that for your business. And so use this momentum. Don't just get to five. Don't just get to six. See how you can stretch that momentum. See what you can do. See how many people you can bring into your business who are working coaches. Get them set up. Get them working so that when September comes around, you're not trying to completely rebuild the business or you're not trying to completely build a business. You kind of have some momentum. So um, I'm going to think about the day and I'm actually open to you guys as to when you think a good week for that launch group would be. Um, maybe I'll just ask a question in the Fitspire Empire and then you guys can comment on it because I'm kind of like torn. I don't know. I mean, definitely next week is too early. I do know that. Um, so, um, and then I obviously, you know, I think people are going to be really busy getting ready for summit. So I don't want to be the week of summit. So I'm thinking maybe um, the second week of June might be good, but um, I'm completely open to hearing your, um, your ideas and what you think. But um, thanks guys for being on. Love you guys. You guys are kicking butt. And we are like, literally, you haven't even seen what's going to come happening now. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.